over the past several years, it seems like sports, especially professional sports, has become about everything other than the actual sport being played. It's not about celebrating athletic excellence anymore. Instead, it's about virtue signaling about the color of someone's skin or their sexuality or in some cases, their ever-changing gender. And the NBA has been at the forefront of all this woke nonsense for quite some time. Once again, they're celebrating someone who's part of their league simply for for their gender identity, which continues to change and apparently doesn't even feel like they can be referred to as a man or a woman. An NBA referee came out as non-binary and trans in a new GQ profile. Not exactly sure how that works, to be honest with you, uh, when you decide, well, I'm, I'm transgender, but you're also non-binary, then what's the point of the trans part? Doesn't fucking make any sense to me, but again, whatever. The trailblazing ref wants to see more trans representation in the NBA, which is becoming less and less about basketball. You want to see more trans representation in the NBA? You want to see more female fucking basketball players pretend like they're men and get dominated. No one's going to make the NBA. No females are going to make the NBA, you fucking idiot. But anyway, let's get into this story. This is such a fucking joke. NBA welcomes first non-binary trans referee. A biological female NBA referee came out as non-binary trans male to be the first in NBA history to set this arbitrary benchmark. Yeah, it's basically making up some glass ceiling to break through. NBA ref Che Flores was highlighted in a new GQ article Monday, revealing the referee's trailblazing identity as a queer person and having zero to do with basketball. I'm going to be real. We shouldn't be having any sort of like articles or whatever about NBA officials or refs. We shouldn't know anything about these people other than the calls that they make on the floor. But here you have it. Sports and queerness can be a hard intersection to navigate, but NBA referee Che Flores is letting people on in on what it really means to be such a part of a community. Thank you, Che, for sharing your story with us. Gay flag, trans flag. NBA ref Che Flores is becoming the first out trans and non-binary ref in American Pro sports. As is standard with progressive LGBT ideology, the message focuses solely on a person's identity. And in Flores' case, as a trans non binary person, her identity is both malleable and sacred to her being, never to be denied or mischaracterized despite a definite set of chromosomes. Flores wanted to set the record straight ahead of the 2023 2024 season. Last season, she officiated. 35 NBA games. Oh my gosh. Stunning and brave. You're so experienced. Being misgendered as she, her, always felt like a little jab in the gut. I can go through the world and even my job a lot more comfortably now. While Flores hoped to usher in a new brand for the NBA, prioritizing the gay agenda, the ref oversaw a disregard for the profession that made her recognizable. For Che Flores, her presence in the NBA isn't about growing the sport, but encouraging others, including youth, to come out of the closet. As the NBA turns progressively more liberal, similar to most major American leagues, the message becomes less about basketball and more about pushing the agenda. That's really the question. What the fuck does this have to do with basketball? This is what the NBA is pushing. This is what the NBA is promoting. Trans, non-binary officials bragging about how progressive they are to have somebody like this out there on the court. Yeah, I think this is the only way you're going to get trans, non-binary, whatever the fuck, out on the NBA court because it's certainly not going to be by a woman pretending to be a man and going out there and competing in the NBA. That's not going to happen. That's not realistic. They're not going to make a team. We're never actually going to see that, so it's always going to be this fucking pipe dream that people just put out there. The only time we see people competing, shockingly, is when men snap their fingers and decide they want to compete against women. Then all of a sudden, they dominate for some reason. Strange how that works, isn't it? Let me know your thoughts about all this in the comments section below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.